A criminal case that has caused a huge controversy was thrown out today when a judge ruled there is not enough evidence to prosecute a Berlin man named Luke Sanchez for the fatal shooting of a burglar. But now someone is threatening to kill Sanchez. News 13's Jim Winchester is live in Valencia County tonight with more. And that's right, Dan. In fact, we are here along Gabaldon Road, which is where both the Sanchez and the Gabaldon's family lives. And it's also the same location right here where the fatal shots were fired that killed Gary Gabaldon. Well, tonight, this road is receiving special attention from the Sheriff's Department down here because of threats made against Luke Sanchez. One of those threats we caught with our cameras this afternoon. Take a listen. It's a dead man walking. Now, that was a threat made after court this afternoon. The threat was dead man walking, directed apparently towards the Sanchez family in reference to Luke Sanchez being set free. Now, Luke Sanchez said he shot Gary Gabaldon on July 4th because he feared for his life. Sanchez said he witnessed Gabaldon and another man burglarize a business. So he followed them and called in the crime. But Sanchez said the suspects ambushed him and Gabaldon attacked him, and that's why he fired his gun. Now, talking tonight, we spoke with Valencia County Rene Rivera, and he said that this evening, deputies told him about the comments and threats made towards Luke Sanchez today. Now, for that reason, he's ordered his deputies to be on alert in this area tonight. Luke Sanchez says he is concerned for his safety. Both he and the sheriff spoke and talked to News 13 about the tension between the families. I accept the judge's ruling, and I hope the Gabaldon family accepts the judge ruling, and I believe justice was served today. Anytime anyone makes a threat like that, we need to take it serious, especially when we had uh, something that took place between the families. Uh, therefore, uh, what I had uh, instructed my deputies was to make sure to patrol the area and make sure that if uh, the, they called uh, 911, we get there as soon as we can. Now, if the Sanchez family goes ahead and files a report, the Valencia County Sheriff says they may look into harassment charges. In fact, the sheriff told me tonight, quote, I will not tolerate it. Diane, back to you. Okay, Jim. Now, the man, the man that we caught on tape today yelling, dead man walking, would not identify himself to News 13, but he was wearing a T-shirt with a picture of Gary Gobbledone on it. No.